Okay, so we're going to set up some channels just using the DAC 978 itself, not hooked up to a computer. The configuration is all on these buttons at the uh, side here. Um, the module slits the actual whole module that's in there. I only have one in there just in slot one and it identifies it as a 20 channel uh, armature mux. So to go to the actual channels, use the channel button surprisingly, you can use um, the control knob here to go through uh, each one or you can use these uh, arrow buttons the vertical ones take you up and down the actual channels you can go to the right and then you can actually select the maths channels so to set up all my three which is going to be the amplifier temperature I can give it a label and uh, the selection button here you can use to go through the alphabet and the numbers but you can't actually select anything with it you have to actually hit the select button um, and then your alternative to this is to use the actual arrow keys now every time you go the up it takes you back to the beginning of the line a small p anyway ooh, ooh. So we've got quite a bit back to space. And then once you finish it the done, touch your back. So everything else is disabled until you select it for measuring. And when you go to the measure on you've got um, the options you can have to select it to, which is temp strain, DC volts or AC volts, ohms, four ohms, frequency, period diode test or capacitance test so we want temp whenever you do temp it defaults to type J but then you can if you need to you can change it from thermical or thermistor or an RTD uh, obviously type J you can get the different types of thermocouple selected there but it stays on J and that's it for the sensor settings. Change the units if you want to. Leave mine as degrees C. Integrate settings. Just the one setting up there. You can change it to however you want to do it. Um, you can then move if you want to with this. Take it to one PLC. And then the advanced settings. Uh, it, it gives it an auto zero where you want to reference for the temperature which it defaults to the internal uh, and whether you want to check uh, whether it's got an open loop for uh, a thermistor obviously and delay time for the readings I assume and that's that channel set up this one is going to be V out. Oh, A. O. U. T. Done. Uh, we need on the AC volts. So this will be RMS only, so again I can do 10 volts and if I go to VN I'll change him to AC volts as well, auto, Ooh. 10 volts, okay, channel 107, channel 108, so this is the one I'm going to set up as current and my little, um, that's where I'm going to put you. It uh, is 5 amps, which should be about the maximum we'll get out of it, is 0.5 volts. So, we'll call him maybe Big Eye gone. Why? Out. 
Um, yeah, uh, it'll be, it's going to be AC volts again. Um, so it's, it's one volt max I'll get out of that. Okay. You obviously could all leave the channels to um, auto if you wanted to. Okay, so once we've set the clamp meter up to read on channel 108, uh, obviously it's going to measure volts. And my ratio is 5 amps equals 500 millivolts. So I've set them to 1 volt range. And to convert this into amps, what I'm actually going to do is hit the math button. And that allows me now to apply a formula if I turn it on. I've got a number of uh, formulas you can have. A simple game one, percentage dBm. Obviously I want MX1B. And I'm going to go to the settings now. So the gain I want is times 10. But I can adjust this. Um, with keys or with the little null button there so that's going to be the value x is 10 times I can leave b set to 0 and then I can change the units uh, user units is on if I edit them I'll be able to put um, a in there of space a Oh, I can only have three fields. Oh, okay. Uh, so we'll just leave him as. Uh, um, so strange. So I can't. I can't do the same as as up there and put it a amp say C there. Okay. So once we've done that, we go back to channel. We now show that we're on a math function. Uh, and if I change it straight to monitor, you can now see that I've got amps up there. I'm applying maths, and when it uh, got everything powered up, I should be able to pick up the amp reading directly, as opposed to, or say, the millivolt reading converted to amps, as opposed to just leaving it as a millivolt reading. Um, channel ten is V minus supply. volts again auto volts. okay and uh, it doesn't look like I can actually set these up to um, okay so I need one 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 six I'm um, sorry it doesn't look like I can set these up for a channel to read voltage and then current so I've had to wire across from the voltage input and output over to a couple more channels and I'll select these ones to actually read the frequency um, oh, that's F current relays here which I'm using the first one um, so I will set him up I if I can call two channels the same be interesting won't it 
and So this would give it the same name. Uh, AC amps range 100 milliamps. So you can only go up to one amp max on this. Uh, it takes it okay. So it seems to be able to have the same name for a channel if you want. Um, the other thing I'm going to add, if we go back to the channels, is um, go over to the calculated channels. We already call this amp gain. So your amp gain is your output divided by your input. Um, I can go and go to equation, and there's my equation. Like I said, a number of a times b a. Sorry, A plus B minus B times B. Uh, the one I've got is A divided by B. I've got some other functions as well. Some averaging, uh, squares, standard deviations. So a fair few functions in there. So said the one I want is A divided by B. To pick these ones, it's slightly different. Um, you see the little symbol in there. So I actually go to the select functions here, to change the, the channel function with the up arrows. I can all the ones I've set up previously in there I can add in as I said I want the output and then that one there divided by the input and then when I've done that and then I see that will says it's only on active when the scanning is running okay so that's all of the channels set up and I've managed to do everything all within the DAC off the front menus itself. I haven't actually needed the computer to set this up uh, at the moment, which is good.